are here moving in our midst I worship are here working in this place I worship you I worship you we call you way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my God that is who you are Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We call you Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. And even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, you never stop, never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working And even when I don't feel it, you're working You see it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Stop, you never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are, and that is who you are, and that is who you are, that is who you are, that is who you are, and that is who you are. Hey guys and welcome to another lesson here at Worship Guitar Skills. Today we're going to look at the song Waymaker. Now I know there's a lot of different versions of this song out there. The version you just heard was my own version of this song. I didn't follow the exact um, structure of this song because I found especially when we do this song at church we tend to um, really repeat sections a lot and go from chorus to bridge, from bridge back to chorus, back to the interlude. Um, so we really have a lot of freedom in how we facilitate the song. Basically, I just played all the sections of the song so that you can learn all those different sections. Just quickly about the song, um, it's really such a powerful song to sing in your congregations. It's really a song that people just take and they, they can sing it easily. The words aren't difficult, but wow, such a powerful declaration that we can make as the church. It really speaks about, um, you know, walking by faith and not by sight and trusting God and praising God, even though things might not go according to plan or even though we're facing difficult circumstances, we know that our God is still working, even when we don't see it and even when we don't feel it. So that's why this song is really powerful to me and why I love to do it 
and sing it with our congregation. All right, enough about this song. Let's dive in and check out the chords that I used for this song. Okay, you'll notice that for this song, I'm playing with a capo. All you need to know for today is that I'll be playing G shapes, although the key won't be in the key of G. Technically, it will be in B flat, but you can learn the song as though you were to play it in G. All right, cool, so the chords are very easy. I'm gonna be using G5. C add nine. D sus four. And E minor seven. Cool, and with all the chords that I used in this song, for D, I also use this version. Cool, that's right. Only those four chords that you need to know for this song. So if some of those chords are unfamiliar to you, maybe take some time and just get familiar with them and practice changing between the chords. Something helpful might be if you can put on a click track a metronome and then just practice changing between these chords. So for example, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool. Now that you know the chords that I used for this song, let's check out the strumming pattern. All right, cool. So this is a very common strumming pattern that I actually use all the time with multiple different songs. And it goes like this. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Let me do it for you slowly. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Cool, let me quickly play this strumming pattern for you in context with the chorus so that you can see how it is applied. Where you make a miracle work, a promise keep a light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Where you make a miracle work, a promise keep a light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. So that's the strumming pattern that we used for this song. Just one thing that I want to talk about is dynamics within this song. I think in one of my other tutorials on Good Grace, I spoke about as an acoustic guitarist, especially in a worship band context, it's really important to listen to the rest of the band and especially to your drummer because you really want to be adding to what the drummer is doing because, believe it or not, the acoustic guitar within a worship band context plays very much a rhythmic role. If you listen to the version that I played of this song, you will hear that I did some building, some 16th note based stuff, let me, let me show you what, what I mean by that. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, never stop working. You never stop, never stop working. And even when I don't see it, you're working. So eighth notes here. This eighth note drums, and I'm getting gradually louder. I'm building with my drummer here. 16th notes. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. 
All right, guys, so that's just on dynamics, my approach to playing this song. So listen to your drummer. If your drummer is doing eighth note builds or if he's doing 16th note builds, you want to accentuate that on the acoustic guitar to really make this song come alive. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. I really enjoyed teaching it to you guys. If you have any questions or any feedback, please leave a comment below. We really love to hear from you guys. And that's all from me for this video. Please subscribe and like. Hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications whenever we release new videos right here at worshipguitarskills.com. All right, guys, that's all from me for this video. I'll see you in the next one.